standard leaders are coming to Zimbabwe. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking they're coming to resolve the crisis of the election of 2023. Or they're coming to force Idim Nangawa to GNU or whatever. But they're not coming for that, just for now. And hear me out. This is coming from a well-trusted source within SADAC, a source that I'll give you the credentials now so that you can get an understanding of why SADAC leaders are coming to Zimbabwe. As you are much aware that from last year, it was spoken that Zimbabwe is the incoming chair of SADAC, not of SADAC organ of uh, politics, troika, troika, no. Zimbabwe is becoming the same chairperson of SADAC, just like Angola is now. The handover is going to happen sometime this year. That date is going to be announced by SADAC. But the question is, who is that source? That source is none other than Sophie Mkwena. Many of you, you know Sophie Mkwena. She used to report for SABC. She used to be a correspondent for SABC here in Zimbabwe. During the 2018 elections, she was here. Sophie Mkwena, Peter Ndoro, and Chrysalda Lewis. These are three seasoned journalists that I can tell you, if you hear from them, you know that what they are telling, they are not telling from other corridors. They know straight from the source. Why should we trust Sophie Mkwena? Sophie Mkwena has worked with so many government officials that are across Africa or even here in Africa. You recall, just after the 2017 Operation Restore Legacy, people were looking to find out where Jonathan Moy was. And for your own information, the only person that has interviewed Professor Jonathan Moyo so far since the 2017 Operation Restore Legacy, it is Sophie Mkwena. He's the only journalist in Africa who has interviewed Jonathan Moyo live, physically. All other journalists, they have not seen Jonathan Moyo or where he is. And even CIOs, I don't know if they know that, where is Jonathan Moy? You are rest assured that if Sophie Mkwena tells you this story, it is true. Sadak leaders are coming to Zimbabwe, but they are not coming to resolve the election crisis. They are coming for other things. Whether that issue is going to be tabled on the table, that's another issue. But the issue now is that even if it's going to be tabled, who is the chairperson? It's Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe can't ask itself questions. They'll simply maybe put it on the agenda and they'll deliberate it and that's it. We're back to square one.